you doing? This is Chef Pia. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm a licensed medical marijuana producer, licensed under the MAR program issued by Health Canada. I'm also a chef and a composer. I write all my music for this channel. Now today, what we're going to do is make some spring rolls, some vegetarian spring rolls. And uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, it's very vegan. Uh, I like to eat my food raw whenever I can. I mean, you can't eat everything raw. Some foods are meant to be cooked. But uh, the problem with cooking food is that you destroy the enzymes that come with the food. And enzymes come with food to help digest the food. And if you cook the food, then you burn off the enzymes, and then the body has to use its own enzymes to digest that food. And uh, what happens is, when you run out of enzymes, you die, right? So you know, eating, you know, cooking your food is going to is going to age you pretty quickly. So if you want to live healthier, live longer, then try to eat fresh raw food as much as you can all right now <clears throat> this is an attempt to make all that a fun process and it is I mean eating you know vegetarian diet or a vegan diet I you know I'm on and off of that you know I'm not pure vegetarian I do have some meat in my diet but uh, even for meat eaters it's it's good to take a break from that and have a nice fresh, clean, vegetarian dish once in a while. And uh, even if you are meat eaters, you know, meat eaters, you, you know, the bulk of your diet should be fruits and vegetables. So uh, let's get on with it. Right. First thing we have to do is prep some veggies. I'm going to uh, slice up some lettuce here, some romaine lettuce. Keep the keep your knife sharp and clean. This is a good opportunity for you to practice your knife skills. When making spring rolls, you want to you know make it all nice and thin. So here we go. We got the lettuce. We're gonna uh, do some cucumber here. Turn that around and we'll slice that up nice and thin. Make sure your knife is sharp. It's much safer to use a sharp knife than a dull knife. Okay. Use my sloppiness there. All right, now let's do some carrots. Carrots are a little more trickier. Uh, I don't peel the carrots. I prefer to leave the skin on because that's where all the nutrition is. So just slice that and then real thin. You can put anything you want in these uh, these spring rolls. Any vegetables that you have around in the garden or you know that's in season. I've pre-washed these vegetables, by the way. Okay, we'll just cut that off. Make it easier. Just slice. Uh, you can put uh, put some fruit in here. I got a nice green apple. Actually, the green apple works very well here. You can use avocado in there. Or you can use mango in there. But we'll slice this.
Okay, put that aside. What else can we put in there? I tried using beans, it's kind of stringy, it doesn't work too well. We've got enough here to work with to get started. I got some nice fresh herbs here, I've got some uh, parsley, I've got some fresh basil, and uh, mm, it smells really wonderful. Now the most important vegetable that's going into the spring rolls here is fresh raw marijuana. Now marijuana is the most nutritious vegetable in the world. It has all the uh, nutrients and the minerals and the, the proteins that you need. It's a complete food source. Uh, so it's very, uh, very good for you nutritionally as well as very beneficial for you medicinally. Fresh raw marijuana is much more effective in its raw acidic form. Uh, and it's especially great for your neurology. Any kind of neurological problem, this is going to correct it. Now when you do handle fresh raw marijuana, what you want to do is just Soak it in some cold water. You don't want to run it under the tap because, you know, the trichomes will, you know, you'll flush them away. And there is trichomes on the on the leaves and uh, the leafage, the foliage. Uh, you can't really see them though unless you look under a microscope. But they're there. So just, uh, you know, just make sure they're nice and clean and. Just sprinkle off the excess water here. Mm. You can juice this stuff as well. So I'm, I'm going to slice some of this up right here. I've got two or three leaves here. make it three or four leaves. There you go. Now if you're vegetarian or vegan, you got to be careful to get your proteins. If you eat this plant, like I said, it's a complete food source and uh, it's very beneficial. Okay, now got the fresh raw marijuana in there so it's going to be good medicine you know food is uh, let food be thy medicine uh, Nostradamus not Nostradamus Hippocrates said that many years ago and it is so true all right now we've got uh, some veggies here we've got carrots we got enough to get started all right the next thing we need to do now is to make a dipping sauce. Now I've decided to go with uh, a peanut butter sauce because it is a plant-based protein and I love peanut butter. Okay, we're going to need a bowl to work with. Um, too much noise on that one. I hope I'm coming in clear. You know, I'm surrounded by four grow rooms. You know, this is this house is very inhospitable when it comes to recording anything. But uh, we'll do our best. All right, now this is a non-cook uh, a non-cook sauce, which is uh, bonus, right? And it's very simple. Now what I use is, uh, what you should use is you know, natural peanut butter, you know, don't get that processed stuff with all the emulsifiers in there and stuff like that. So, and what I do is uh, when I get this, you know, that the oil settles on top, and uh, what I do is just pour off that peanut oil. And if I want to replace the oil, I will replace it with uh, you know, <clears throat> coconut oil. So, okay, there's a real big heaping teaspoon there. I think we'll we'll go with about two 
teaspoons of peanut butter. And what we're going to do is uh, add some sea salt to that. And we're going to get some lime. We're going to put some lime in there. Mm. Now, what else I'm going to do here? Put some honey in here. You're better off using the natural unpasteurized honey if you can get it. But this will balance out the bitterness of the peanuts. I'm going to also put in some uh, some natural apple cider vinegar, unpasteurized. Now about a tablespoon. And I'm also going to put in some sesame oil, sesame seed oil, just a little bit to stop this very strong flavor. Just need a few drops, maybe a quarter or a half a teaspoon. So let's mix that up. Mm, this is going to be great. Like I said, I'm going to keep it simple, not a lot of herbs and spices in the sauce. I don't really want to uh, compete with the, the flavor of the peanut. Now what I'm going to do is add, uh, make sure the filter is on there, there we go. What I'm going to do is add, oh about uh, one or two tablespoons of water. And basically what we're doing is just getting it down to a consistency that's where we'll be able to just dip into. I need more water. Probably around four or five tablespoons of water. In the beginning, in the beginning, it sort of gels up, you know, it sort of emulsifies. But after a while, once you get enough liquid in there, it, it turns into a sauce. It's, it's getting there right now, as you can see. It's still a little thick, though. We'll put more water. Now, you can add all kinds of spices. Or, to this garlic, coriander, depends which way you want to go. You can go, you know, Taiwanese or Taiwan or a fusion of the two. Okay, well, there's a lot more water than two tablespoons in here, more like half a cup. This uh, peanut butter was very thick. It didn't have the oil in it, right? I had a little bit too much water there. It gets kind of hard to stir when you add all the water at once. Just go a little bit at a time. Okay, we've got a nice consistency here. Let's give it a taste. See where we're at. Good, that's nice. Very good. Now what we'll do is we're gonna uh, pour that into a little bowl. And we're gonna keep that aside. Now this is where it gets interesting. What we can do here is fuse some uh, hash, uh, cannabis oil, it's really vegetable oil, as far as I'm concerned, marijuana is a vegetable. The cannabis oil, we can fuse that into there, or you know, we can use hash, I've got some hash there, or some of this keef. I got a nice mm, wall of sativa hash here. 
Wow. But I think uh, just to keep it simple, what we're going to do is do some hash oil into, into this. So, you know, we'll have the fresh, raw nutrition and health benefits plus to those who, you know, want a narcotic effect, uh, you know, the pain numbing effect. You can, you know, you can also use that too to incorporate that. So, uh, uh, you get some heat on here. I've got some coconut oil. Coconut oil is the best. I've got maybe uh, two tablespoons of coconut oil in there. And we'll just get some cannabis oil. Oh, my hands are greasy now. <coughs> and I'm just making a single or a double portion, so I'm not going to put a lot in there. I can't really tell you how much to put in because everyone's herb is different, everyone's medi medicine is different, the way it's grown, uh, you know, it's, you can't give exact numbers, you know, you, even, people try, but, you know, even when the product is just sitting on the shelf, it changes, it never stops changing, you know, the, the, the compounds in marijuana are constantly working together, and, uh, you know, CBD is enhancing THC, and, you know, the product is, you know, it's, it's hard to regulate it and say how much to use. But start off very mild, right? In the beginning, if you're not used to this. Because it, it can hit you pretty hard if you haven't built up a resistance to it. So this, there's a fair amount here. I'm an old hippie. So, you know, and I've been doing this for a while. But you can start out just by using, like, oil the size of a grain of rice, you know, just to get started. This is nice and warm here. I don't want to get the oil, the oil too hot, you know. I want to keep it, you know, under 110 degrees uh, so I don't break down the, uh, the enzymes, you know. You can heat your food up to about, uh, you know, a quarter. Let me see, can you see that? getting nice and clear here. I'm going to have to grab the camera. Anyways, uh, I got a little dish here. You can see that it's all melted. It didn't take, uh, didn't take much. Where's my, uh, little cup? Hmm. Okay, I'm panicking here. I've lost track of my bar towel. Here it is. I just want to pour it in here just to show you how easily it's fused. Actually, there's quite a bit of uh, hash oil on that, so we're not going to put it on all in. We'll put maybe half of that in there. And of course, you know, your, the oil has to be decarboxylated if you want to get high on it. It doesn't have to be decarboxylated for the medicine to work. Okay, let's see how that tastes with uh, with the medicine in there, with the hash oil. Okay, that's good. That's great. I can't taste the hash oil at all. You know, uh, you know, I, I really work hard to make dishes that you know don't taste like hemp. You know. So you would never know that you're you're eating, you know, hash or anything like that. You can't taste it. The peanut butter is a fairly strong taste and you know, with the lime and the, the sesame seed oil does a very good job of masking the flavor. 
Okay, so we got that there. Now we're all we're all pretty much set to go. I want to clean. Uh, Clean up this top here. All right, now the next thing we need is the rice paper. Uh, I've got the small size. The the bigger size would work better, uh, but this works well. As it, you know, this works well. I would get the ones that have tapioca in it because they're more flexible, much easier to work with. Uh, so like I said, yeah, they're available at any grocery store. If you want the larger ones, you may have to go to a specialty store. Uh, so this is what they look like. All right, now, uh, I tell you what I usually do is the easiest way. Just run it under warm water. <coughs> Not too hot. There we go. Just like this. Shake off the excess water. It takes about five, six seconds. And then you want to let it sit for 30 seconds before you start rolling it. But I, you know, I start fabricating it uh, right away. So what, uh, and don't overfill, don't overdo it, don't fill it up too much. That's a big mistake that a lot of people make. So keep it, uh, you know, don't overdo it. So I'm going to start out with some lettuce here. Okay. And some green pepper. You know, you can set up a plate with warm water and just dip it in the plate. You know, if you're entertaining guests, it's more, more uh, impressive. I would have done that, but I forgot, so I had to improvise. Okay, some green peppers would have been nice in there. They're like an orange uh, peppers, and I've got some carrots in there now. I put the apples in there, and now we need the fresh marijuana, which is the most important thing in this dish, this is what makes it a superpower food. <coughs> Alright, uh, we can put some parsley in there, you can put uh, some basil in there, the traditional Taiwan method is to use cilantro, I mean Taiwan, and uh, but I personally don't like fresh cilantro so okay so and people will use paper towel or uh, you know a cloth to do this but uh, it seems to work well with the bamboo bamboo board here so I'm going to pick it up and roll it over like this and I'm going to tuck it in and pull back a little bit just to tighten it up and then roll a lot of people will fold uh, the sides in. I don't think that's necessary. And voila. I waited a little too long there. It stuck to, to the board a little. But that's okay. Now, what we do is cut it like so. And we have spring rolls. Isn't that uh, amazing? And of course, we have our dipping sauce here. We can garnish the plates. Uh, that's some nice garnish there. And we can put on some, you know, some parsley. And we can sprinkle some sesame seeds into the peanut butter. And that's, uh, that's, that's basically it uh, right there. Uh, I can't see very well because uh, my camera and my tripod is in the way. But uh, let's do another one. 
Let's do another one. Show you a different way. Whoops. All right, we get, uh, there it is. We get some lettuce over here. Get some lettuce in there. We're gonna throw some fresh herb, put that right there. And some apple, some carrot. We, uh, some bell pepper, cucumber. Oh, we gotta get some cucumber in there. Beautiful. Now, uh, yeah, I know I said we're doing vegetarian, but we're gonna put some fish. You can use seafood in here. Uh, like, you know, you don't need a lot of protein, just a little bit. get a little big. Okay, I'm going to roll it up before it gets too dry. Like so. There we go. Now, we can serve this up a different way. I'm going to turn this element off. Good idea to keep your knife wet when slicing this stuff. It'll make it a lot easier. But we just slice it like this, and we can put them on the plate like that, like it's sushi. Hmm. Oh, we got a thunderstorm. I love a good thunderstorm. All right, so there we have it. Uh, vegetarian spring rolls. The fish might be a vegetarian, so, you know. Anyways, let's do this. Um, all right, we'll take one of these, we'll dip it in. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love that peanut sauce, man. Mmm, it's delicious. You take this one, dip it in. You gotta get it uh, The trick is to roll them up tight, but not too tight that the skin breaks. If you use the uh, larger ones, you can get a double layer, and uh, it's easier to handle. Mmm. It's just chucking it down right now. You really need the rain here in the valley. Sort of like a dry zone. Oh, okay. Hope you enjoyed the show. This is like food for the gods, man. If you eat like this, you're gonna be healthy. You're gonna recover and uh, you're gonna feel good. Everyone that I've talked to who has started eating fresh raw marijuana claims that uh, they've never felt better in their life. And uh, I know from personal experience, I feel calm, I feel relaxed, I feel content, my memory's improving, I'm starting to see the big picture. You know, fresh raw marijuana works with your hippocampus gland to create new brain cells. It actually create, you know, stimulates neurogenesis. When you eat this fresh raw marijuana, you're actually growing the brain. So, you know, my doctors have always told me, how's this brain damage? It doesn't. It <laughs> does the opposite. All right, this is Chef B signing off. Hope you enjoyed the show. 
Make sure you subscribe. And make sure you check out my book, The Medical Marijuana Guide. I've got the second edition out now, which includes how to grow medical marijuana. I also have books on herbs and spices. Uh, the link's in the description if you want to check them out. All right.